Hello everyone, Lauren here from Mirrabool Shire Council. I would like to begin by acknowledging the various traditional lands on which we are all located today and pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Welcome back to Community Session 3 with Energy Safe Victoria. We did have to reschedule this session from a few weeks ago, so thank you for your understanding and we're very happy to be here with you all tonight. In part one, which was held on October 21, there were a few questions that went unanswered and as promised, ESV have provided written responses to these questions. I've popped a link to that document in the chat box and our presenters will, go, will also go over that later this evening. Tonight in part two, we are looking at farming and high voltage transmission lines and joining us again is Brett Fox and Gavin Jackson from Energy Safe Victoria. Similar to previous sessions, we'll begin with a short presentation followed by a Q&A. You can send us your questions by typing them into the question box that's on your screen. And again, if we don't get to your question tonight, ESV, ESV will provide a written response to them after the session. A recording of this session will also be added to our website tomorrow. Okay, so let's get started. I'm delighted to welcome back Brett Fox, Head of Regulatory Assurance and Gavin Jackson, Team Leader, Safety Systems Assurance from Energy Safe Victoria. Thanks, Lauren. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to come back again and engage with the community and share some information. So um, again, just in the introductory slide, um, You'll see that uh, it's myself and Gavin, we, we, as previously said, we've both got 30 plus years experience in the industry. Um, and also joining us tonight, um, we have our manager, um, Ian Bergwin, who's the you know, general manager of electrical safety and technical regulation at ASV. He's uh, also listening in and may provide some further insights beyond that provided by Gavin and myself. 